What's that? You want to grow lemons now, do you? Now, lemons give the ultimate feel of the Mediterranean in the garden. They're a good patio plant, and if you live in a temperate climate or the UK, you're probably better off putting this in a warm, sunny position. But one thing I want to say about growing lemons is most people will be very, very surprised just what conditions lemons can put up with. I've seen some very, very good examples of lemon trees actually grown out in the ground in the UK, in the south of the UK. Um, usually what you would have to do if you go down that route is pick a south facing fence or wall, but what you can do is you can cover the, the trees and bushes um, if there's gonna be extreme cold weather. And most of the time you'll be covering them in cold conditions because you wanna try and protect the fruit. You know, they camp up with quite a lot, as long as they are not sitting in boggy and wet ground. But to be fair, to be safe, if you're gonna grow these, you might wanna put them in pots. When I visited Paris, I noticed that there were some pretty impressive specimens of lemons growing in central parks there, in um, a really good microclimate. And when I visited the gardens of Versailles um, in France, they had really, really big lemon trees in pots. And we visited in October and they were actually just wheeling the lemon trees under cover into the greenhouse for the, for the winter months. So if you're prepared to put them in a pot and move them um, under cover every year, then that is a great way to guarantee yourself some, um, some great fruits. Now, one of the best memories I have as a young boy is when we used to go and visit the family farm in Cyprus. And one of my earliest memories of self-sufficiency and something that really stuck in my mind was my cousin Theodosio at dinner. We used to have tables outside under the lemon trees. And I just remember him laughing and taking a lemon from the tree, which was just above his head, and just squeezing it on his food. And it's just such a simple idea, but it really, really resonated with me that day, and it stuck with me forever. And I've, I've always looked at the lemon as the ultimate um, fruit for warm climates and outside living and self-sufficiency. Marinades, us Greeks, we do the, the, the marinade, we squeeze them fresh on meats. Now lemons, being from the Mediterranean, do like warm conditions, but you know, don't be completely duped by that. I've seen some really good examples of lemons growing and fruiting in colder climates. You'd have to have a good microclimate situation like south facing wall and well-drained soil because if you've got damp soil, the roots can easily rot. I did have um, some lemon trees years ago when I was younger that were quite successful, but um, getting older and going to uni and finding places to live, I, 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 I lost them plants. But, but you know, I'm starting again. I mean, I've got a good one today. Um, a lemon tree here that I'll be planting for you. I've got one already, um, which has done quite well. So what I wanted to do is just get another, get the same terracotta pot and just do two. So we can have two either side of the doorway. So they're really, really attractive. They, they almost look like an indoor plant and they've got that lovely lemony smell to the leaves. Now, funnily enough, I was watching Gardener's World in the UK and Monty Don was on there. And I said to him, I was about, I knew I was gonna do um, something about lemons and he actually had some really impressive lemons there himself. And he explained that what you don't wanna do with lemons, and this blew me away actually, cause I was actually thinking about taking them inside um, the kitchen for the winter. As he said, if you take your lemon tree inside during the winter, the, they will usually just lose their leaves and look like they're about to die. And that's because lemons like the moisture in the end, actually like the cold nights. Now that's not to say they want frost in, but you would be much better leaving this in a polytunnel. So don't be fooled into thinking you need to bring it inside during the, the, the winter months. So, you know, if you've got somewhere airy, somewhere connected to the house, like a lean-to, something like that, that's probably your best condition, you know, and bring it out into the summer. Um, I would probably say mid-April to, um, early October and that's probably fine and another guy was telling me that the fruits of a lot of these citrus like lemons actually need cold weather to to turn from their green to their normal color so that was very interesting and actually funny enough in Cyprus I remember the lemons were very rarely 
um, yellow. They use like a sort of green, just turning yellow, never quite made it to yellow. So that's very interesting. So really, you know, if you're in a temperate climate especially, you know, get your head away from that idea. These are a Mediterranean plant, and like most Mediterranean plants, um, rosemary, thyme, you can grow them, you just need the specific situations. You just need a bit of an, you just need that sunlight for the fruit, in my opinion, for them to ripen. Now, if you want to grow lemons, a typical thing that I hear people wanting to do is grow them from a pip, from a lemon pip. Now, when I first tried this, when I was younger, I was amazed how easy it was. Um, what I would do is I would put lemon pip in a house plant that was already growing, so you knew you'd water, keep water in it um, and you wouldn't forget about it. If you put it in a singular pot when I was younger, I'd forget about it. So that was my little hack. I used to put it in a plot that was already taken care of and that, that would give them the time. But I think within sort of three weeks, I was getting small little lemon trees and I put them on. But in later years, I learned if you're going to try that, you're going to have to wait 10 years at least 10 years until you get any fruit out of that pip and because these things are quite responsive to pollination if that was grown in an area with oranges and lemons you might end up with a cross you might not you might wait basically you might wait 10 years and it might not even be a very nice citrus so you really got to watch that if you're going to grow these grow a grafted tree all of these ones with fruit on these small trees they're all grafted so that they already know that the, the rootstock is a particular type and that's probably your best route to go i mean i say they're expensive they're about 40 quid for a small one like this and you can go up to 60 pound sort of when you want to get a bit bigger than this but i think they're worth the investment you know obviously you don't want to take a risk um on them and you don't want to lose them early on but i had um i was bought a little satsuma thing but you apparently you can't eat the satsumas they're really small in it and i've kept that in the polytunnel i've abused the thing i've barely taken care of this i've just given it a splash of water and that's Every year that's done quite well, and that's been out in the cold, even with the tears in the polytunnel I got the minute um, last year, it's come, it's fine. So I'm prepared to take the risk with these. So basically, if you're going to plant with these in a pot um, or in the ground, you know, try and get yourself some compost mix and mix in some sand. I would say a third sand, a third topsoil, and a third compost because. You know, there's a lot of people say, oh, it's got to be well drained. They put all of this sand in and they make it way too sandy, in my opinion, which makes it very, very hard for it to retain nutrients. And usually it's just a real bug. I mean, pots are a bugger to keep watered anyway. So I would and I've seen videos where people say, oh, this needs super, super dry. And I, I don't I, I, you know, I understand that the roots can rot if any plant gets too wet, but in a pot, You've got to be a bit logistical. So I go for a sort of loamy topsoil compost and I put a bit of sand in as well. And I try and put a little bit of slow release fertilizer in there. I mean, I don't really like synthetic fertilizers, but I think if you grow anything in a pot, you have to accept you might have to go down that route. And um, there's also a lot of debate about when to fertilize. I think that, you know, you should try and fertilize them once every quarter. If they're in the ground, it's not so much of a problem. You can mulch it with some good stuff and that's usually fine. I think if you're gonna grow lemons in a pot, try and go for a clay pot. A, they look quite nice. And also if you do get a situation where it's raining a lot in summer, you know, the pots will generally dry out easier when they're in terracotta. Terracotta has a bit of a breathability to it. Um, and what I like to do is put like a nice decorative white stone on top. I just find that really prevents when the full sun hits it, it's just really drying out. Um, if you are worried about the moisture content of um, a potted plant like a lemon and the roots rotting, you can stick your finger into the soil. And, you know, if you get to sort of like a couple of centimetres in, you should feel a bit of dampness. It shouldn't be soggy. And I think that's generally the sort of consistent moisture content that these things like you know if you go to these countries like morocco cyprus where these things grow really well yeah i mean the, the soil's dry but they won't grow if there's no water there nothing grows in the in the middle of the sahara desert so you've got to remember that you want a little bit of moisture you know and i think pots are you know d pots are good because at the end of the day pots will allow you not to overwater in many ways you know but you know once a pot has completely dried out it's quite difficult to rehydrate it so i just have a little pot at the bottom of this um, um a little um, a little dish and that should just keep the soil um, damp enough but not too damp basically you know a lot of people say don't put them in too big a pot i disagree with that i think if you're going to grow a lemon don't pot it around too much put it in a big pot 
give it everything it wants. Mix in a bit of um, bloodfish bone. Um, you want a bit of um, phosphates and things for the flowers. Potassium, so mix that in, get it set up right, put it in a big pot and treat it right. You know, full sun situation. Keep it uh, some sort of a moisture. Um, let it dry out and then water it and keep that cycle going. Um, you might have to wait a couple of years for it to fruit because you know usually when you buy them they'll have little fruits on I've got fruits on here but then usually when they've got a bit of extra room they'll put more energy into growing for the first year or two it's a worthwhile investment you know if I get this um, up to sort of five six foot with the pot yeah that's a decent sized plant so you know it's a it's one of them little investments you have to do but honestly you know me and my wife we've created a little Mediterranean patio here and um you know, to have the little palms and the, the, the lemons, even if it's for sort of four months of the year, the sort of barbecue season, it's really effective. Sit out there, have a beer, it's lovely. Really reminds me of old times and old holidays. So I'm gonna just show you what I do with the soil now and plant this one. Planting your lemons! Right, so I'm gonna be planting this little lemon tree here um, in this pot. Now, you, it is good to use a terracotta pot. I find generally that they, um, they warm up nicely and they are easier to keep well drained. It is useful to cover up the hole at the bottom so you can get a bit of slate or pottery or you can just use one of them ones, ones you can buy. Now, with the soil, you're going to have to mix in something with some phosphates, um, some fish blood bone, and also for growing in pots, some slow release fertiliser. Have a little bit of drainage at the bottom. Right, fill her up. Right, let's see what sort of a root system we got on this lemon. All oh, right. Yeah, so. Quite a decent root system, um, not bad at all. So what you want to do is pop her in. Now you see that will be a little bit too high because what you want is you want to plant this with a bit of a, a recess, but don't forget the soil will compact a little bit as well. So if I just take her out, just lose a couple of handfuls. I usually say if it looks about level or just slightly below level, then the settlement should happen and that should be about right. Try and plant it um, so it's as vertical as possible. Sometimes I just crumble that top bit back into the plant. Um, yeah, and then just back filler. Oh yeah, and you can take that out. You don't need that now. I hope you're paying attention there. You just wanna consolidate it gently round the outside. You don't want to compact it, you just want to make sure that it's held in firm. I like to just sort of push in like that, just with your three fingers, just push in. You know, a, a lot of the time people go wrong because they're just not consolidating it enough. You know, you don't want to compact it so that the soil puddles on the surface, but you want to make sure it's in there securely. When you put it in there too loose, it will just dry out and it won't be very happy. I think that's looking all right. So what I mean, you just want that little recess around the edge of the pot. And what I do is I put them a bit of 20 mil gravel over the top. Just keep, just, just keeps it warm basically and keeps the moisture just in that top layer so it doesn't dry out too much. So there you go, all the way from Sicily, all the way to the Chiltern Hills. Just finish her off nicely and that will what you've got to remember is that's going to settle anyway that will sink a little bit um, and that will um, provide a nice watering recess add of a bit of a bit of an effect to it so there you have it lemon trees they're not as difficult to grow as you might think in colder climates they're a good looking plant. They're great for a Mediterranean theme garden and you probably get some fruit out of it as well. Lemons.
get out there and grow some. All right? 